Joe Biden claims to support American manufacturing, but in reality, he's pushing the same pro-China globalist agenda that ripped the industrial heart out of our country. It ripped us apart. Biden and the globalists support raising taxes on American production. They support more crippling regulations killing American jobs. They support skyrocketing domestic energy costs. And they support massive anti-American multinational agreements that send our wealth and factories overseas. Very simply, the Biden agenda taxes America to build up China. China is the big beneficiary. We cannot let that happen. And just a couple of years ago, it wasn't happening. China paid to the United States hundreds of billions of dollars, and no other president got 10 cents, legitimately 10 cents from China. My agenda will tax China to build up America. The heart of my vision is a sweeping pro-American overhaul of our tax and trade policy to move from the Biden system that punishes domestic producers and rewards outsourcers to a system that rewards domestic production and taxes foreign companies and those who export American jobs. They will be rewarded and rewarded greatly, and our country will benefit. To achieve this goal, we will phase in a system of universal baseline tariffs on most foreign products. On top of this, Higher tariffs will increase incrementally depending on how much individual foreign countries devalue their currency. They devalue their currency to take advantage of the United States, and they subsidize their industries or otherwise engage in trade cheating and abuse. And they do it now like never before. And we had it largely stopped, and it was going to be stopped completely within less than a year. As tariffs on foreign producers go up, taxes on American producers will go down and go down very substantially, and that means a lot of jobs coming in. Not only will this system end our gaping trade deficits, and they are massive right now, and bring back millions of American jobs, it will also bring trillions and trillions of dollars pouring into the United States Treasury from foreign countries and allow us to invest that money in American workers American families, and American communities. This plan will be the linchpin of a new strategic national manufacturing initiative that builds on my historic success in ending NAFTA, which was a tremendous thing, a tremendous achievement. Nobody thought it could be done. And we did USMCA, US, Mexico, Canada, and it was an incredible thing. But we're also going to end other unfair trade deals, and we'll end them quickly. In addition, as a matter of both economic and national security, I will implement a bold series of reforms to completely eliminate dependence on China in all critical areas. We will revoke China's most favored nation trade status and adopt a four-year plan to phase out all Chinese imports of essential goods, everything from electronics to steel to pharmaceuticals. This will include strong protections to ensure China cannot circumvent restrictions by passing goods through conduit countries, countries that don't make a product, but all of a sudden they're selling a lot of product. It comes right through China, right out of China, and right into our country. We will also adopt new rules to stop U.S. companies from pouring investments into China and to stop China from buying up America, allowing all of those investments that clearly serve American interests. We're not going to allow bad things to happen to our country anymore. And we will eliminate federal contracts for any company that outsources to China. Biden will never get the job done. He is weak on China because the corrupt Biden family has received millions and millions of dollars from entities tied to the Chinese Communist Party. Everybody knows that. They try and hide it, and the fake news doesn't want to talk about it. Biden's pro-China economic program puts America last, and it's killing our country. My cutting-edge trade agenda will revitalize our economy by once again putting America first. And by the way, we'll get along very well with China. And you know what the reason is? They'll respect us again, like they did just two years ago. We will quickly become a manufacturing powerhouse like the world has never seen before. Thank you very much.